which wasn't true. In her statement, she said she leaned over the bed, that her nephew was under the bed, she lost her balance and essentially fell on her nephew. And so what we did with Myra on one of the visits was we said, Myra, we're going to go ahead and have you reenact that so that we can put you on the edge of the bed. You can go ahead and show us how it is that you went over the edge of the bed and more importantly, show us how you got up after you went over the bed. And once we went through that exercise of telling her what we were going to do, she basically just broke down and started crying. And we knew that something was wrong, that it didn't happen the way she wrote in her statement. And we knew that something was wrong and we knew that she was covering up for somebody. It just took us some time to get there. Did you help her tell the truth ultimately? Because my understanding is that her sister actually went on the run uh, around the time that she testified. What initially happened is that Myra's perspective, uh, you know, somebody mentioned codependence. And, and Myra's perspective was that she was going to die anyway and that she had no quality of life and didn't know how much longer she was going to be around. So from her standpoint, uh, she wanted her other nephews and nieces to have a mother, and so she decided to accept responsibility and cover up for her sister. And she did that for as long as she could tolerate her sister's continued abuse of the other children. And at some point, she just said, enough is enough. I've given her a chance. She's not making the best of it, and so I'm going to come out with the truth.